Material attachment is not a bad thing. Hey there, wonderful, and welcome to this video that's really a case in favor of material attachment. I felt it was necessary to make a video on this topic because in, especially in the spiritual community there is a dominant belief that material attachment would be something bad. In the sense of, you know, we should all transcend this material reality and this world is an illusion and it's all about ascending. While the reality is that we do live in a physical reality, or maybe seemingly if that's your worldview, um, but in any case, <laughs> If you are from this kind of a background, like if you are coming from a background of yoga or tantra or like the Vedic traditions or even a kind of, of even certain interpretations of Christianity or Islam, there is this idea of God being oneness. And so there's nothing outside of this oneness, right? But then at the same time, there is an idea of this world being an illusion. But since God is being oneness, then even this illusion is not outside of God. And so the material world is also inside of God. And you and your emotions are also all valid and divine and to be honored. So I had this realization this week that I would like to share with you and it came to me while I was cycling and um, I had just bought a new bicycle but I was still very much grieving my old bicycle. I had this wonderful bicycle three years ago and through a misunderstanding I lost it and um, three years later I find myself still <laughs> missing <laughs> that bicycle. And I thought to myself for a moment, like, oh, like, I'm so materially attached, like, I kind of, there was kind of this feeling of, like, shame about it, or, like, guilt for um, being so superficial. And it actually felt bad in my heart to be repressing my grief for my bicycle, even though it's such a worldly, superficial thing as a freaking bicycle. Why would I allow myself to grieve, for example, a loved one I lost? And that's so spiritual, right? To grieve someone's death. <laughs> but then not to grieve a bicycle that I lost. What's so different about that? In my heart, it feels very, very similar. Yes, <laughs> one thing is a person and one thing is a bicycle, but it feels very similar in my heart. And if I don't allow myself to grieve that bicycle, it feels like I'm denying a part of myself. I'm repressing emotions. And it's, com and it's coming from such a pure place, love for certain material things. It comes from the same pure place as love for people. It's this feeling of appreciation for something that's existing in this outer world. Whether it's a person or a bicycle. And I thought to myself, no, I don't want to deny this grief. And I don't want to make myself feel as if it's something lower than other types of grief. And that felt really good and I just hope that this video can inspire you to feel similar if you ever have this feeling of I'm wrong for feeling very sad about losing a thing for for example something that you like like a, maybe maybe your phone broke <laughs> you can be sad about that yeah that's okay or maybe, you know, your car gets stolen and you're upset about it. That's okay. 
So, um, and also the other way around. Uh, some months ago, I lost my moonstone, this one. <laughs> and I was really sad about it for some time, like, oh my god, my moonstone. And, <laughs> and some days ago, I found it back. It rolled under a closet. <laughs> <laughs> and I was so happy to find it back. So why not allow that joy of finding a moonstone back? You know, for as long as this kind of grief and attachment naturally arises out of your heart, just honor it and allow yourself to feel all the emotions that come with it. There's no point in repressing or denying that part of you. It's not like you're going to lose it quicker <laughs> by denying or repressing it. Yeah, I know it's not like always fun to be that um, in economist, if that's the right word, about material possessions. Um, because yeah, it's not fun to grieve a bicycle <laughs> or whatever it is, right? But if that's what is there in your heart, there's no other right way forward than to honor your feelings. So my wish for you to as long as you have feelings, attachment to material, to honor that. See you next time.